From Henry Moore at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park to Marlene Dumas at Tate Modern, 2015 is set to be a fantastic year for art and culture. Here are five shows that I think are going to be unmissable this spring. It's easy to think of Impressionism as a much-loved, uncontroversial art movement, but it was hugely unpopular when it first emerged. One man, the art dealer Paul Durand Ruel, could see what no one else could and snapped up works by Monet, Pizarro, Degas and Renoir at a time when they were still largely ridiculed or ignored. Without him, said Monet, we wouldn't have survived and the modern art market certainly wouldn't look the same. He was the go-to portrait painter of the upper classes in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but he also painted his wide circle of glittering friends. The National Portrait Gallery is bringing these paintings together for the very first time, showing Sargent's most intimate and informal paintings that show a more relaxed side to this master portraitist. The V&A's fashion exhibitions are always full of surprises, but this one, the only major retrospective of Alexander McQueen's work in Europe, is going to be truly spectacular. McQueen blurred the boundaries between fashion and art, mixing the latest technology with traditional craftsmanship. This show spans his whole career, and it includes film, music and installations. The exhibition's been produced by the company that helped design McQueen's runway shows, and it vibrantly brings to life his creativity. There are more than 200 ensembles and accessories, the largest number of individual pieces by McQueen and his collaborators that have ever been brought together. At the Lightbox in Woking, there's an exciting chance to see a solo show by Damien Hurst. It's a series of works Hearst made in 2005 and includes silkscreen prints, sculptures and paintings, all brought together in a modern-day chapel of contemplation. The show brings to the fore Hearst's fascination with mortality and faith, consumption and seduction, and it's a great opportunity to see a body of work that's travelled a lot internationally but is only rarely on show in the UK. In the past, Parker has exploded sheds, launched meteorites and steamrolled old silver. So what will she do now? The show features some of her most famous pieces, among them that exploded shed and her wrapped up version of Rodin's Kiss. And there's also newer work, including a series of sculptures inspired by her recent trip to Jerusalem. The centrepiece features two important new commissions connected to the World War I centenary a poetic film and an immersive installation using the paper offcuts from a poppy producing factory to clad the walls and ceiling. For more information on these shows and other great exhibitions around the UK in 2015, check out the Art Fund's website at artfund.org.